All right, welcome back to the OBS Super User Guidebook. We're going over 10 of the top plugins, each in detail. And in this video, we're looking at the advanced scene switcher for OBS. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Just want to remind everybody, in the links below, you can download a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook. You can pick up a paperback copy on Amazon. And I just want to remind everybody to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps us make more videos for you guys. And if we're, if you like it, hit the, hit the like button for us. And if you've got any questions or you think we can do better, let us know in the comments below. All right, so Advanced Scene Switcher can of course be downloaded from the OBS forum where all of the plugins are available. You can unzip it and you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste the all of the data into your OBS folders, all outlined in the book if you're unfamiliar with how to do this. You just copy and paste it into the OBS files. Now, there's also a setup application that you can use for Windows, and this is available for Mac and PC as well. So it's really nice. It's got that little auto installer there if you'd like to use that. Boom. But I've already got it installed, so I'm sure you guys can get through to that part. Now, once you've got it installed, what can this what can this tool do? Well, first of all, just to give you some ideas, we can trigger scenes. We can monitor a video source and trigger an action to a predetermined video file. We can monitor audio sources and trigger certain things to happen when audio levels go through a certain threshold. We can create sequences. So when one scene is over or one video clip is over, we can move to something else. When something is idle, such as if there's no keyboard or mouse movement for a certain time, we can create a trigger. We can create triggers based on the time of day. We can trigger scenes based on the contents of a file. So you could actually change or rewrite the name of a file from Dropbox or anywhere in the world and trigger something. There are ways to trigger media, basically switch scenes on the current state of a media source. So when a media source ends, and we can do things based on region. It even includes, if we go to tools and open up the advanced scene switcher, a new feature of network. So the network controller will allow you to remotely control active scenes of another OBS instance. And that's pretty advanced. So read the documentation on that. Today, what we're going to show is something more simple. You could do so much stuff here. It would take hours to go over everything. So what I want to do is show you a sequence as an example of the advanced scene switcher. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus button. And this is, this is the same for pretty much everything in here. You, you start by using the plus button to create a sequence. And we're going to get some options here. And one that I want to show is a countdown timer. When the countdown timer ends, switch to the main camera feed. This is really nice for people who have a countdown timer for an event and know that they want the scene to switch. Maybe they can't be there for some reason. We'll go to a full screen of our webcam and we'll do it after five seconds. So you can even choose the transition. We'll do a nice little fade and let's go back to general and we got to make sure we hit start and the whole application needs to be started uh, or else nothing, none of the sequences or setups that you have will be active. So you can see what we did here. We're going to test this in a second. We set up when scene four, which is a countdown timer, is active, switch to full screen webcam after five seconds. Now this countdown timer, which is available in our online course, there we go, is a 10 minute countdown timer. So generally I would do 10 minutes, but for the purpose of this, boom, we did it. That was five seconds. Let's do it one more time to show how easy that was. We go to the countdown timer. In five seconds, the rule is it's going to switch to a full screen webcam. So this is a really great tool. Don't get confused by the automatic scene switcher. This automatic screen switcher is a much more basic tool. You might want to use it, but really all the power is in the advanced scene switcher here. Again, you can make sure it's off or you may be surprised why why is this happening why is that happening if you don't need it so just hit start if you definitely need to use some of this stuff so many awesome options in here for automating your obs production 
So as you can see, the advanced scene switcher has an incredible amount of functionality and features. It's very dynamic. You can do so much with it. Figure out how you can automate your next video production and then look in there and find a good way to do it because I know you can find one. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.